This is Fox 31 News. According to the CDC, the flu is killing up to 4,000 Americans a week. And there's no end in sight, at least in the near future. It's the worst flu season in a decade, which is why it's a good idea to think about boosting your immune system, having overall health in general in mind when you're feeding your family. So joining us this morning is John Clintthorne, the manager of scientific affairs at Natural Grocers. Good to have you. Thanks for being here. How are you? Uh, this is really important stuff here. I mean, obviously a lot of us take vitamins or, or yeah. medicine or things to kind of boost our immune system, but a lot of things we eat can do it without spending a ton of money on medicines. Mm -hmm. So let's start here. We'll start uh, on this end. Wh what, what do we got here and how can it help us? Yeah, so the first thing I talk about when I talk about boosting our immune system is avoiding sugar. Yeah. If you eat sugar, your immune system can be suppressed for 28 to 48 hours. Really? So you really need to cut the sugar out of your totally diet. Totally or just the majority like, of it? The majority of it, okay. yeah. Yeah, cut, it, cut sugar out. You'll be a lot better as far as your immune function goes. Okay, all Absolutely. right. Well, and we're, we're not having sugars, but there's still sweet things we can eat, right? Yeah, you know, go to fruit especially fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C. Okay. You know, people really like orange juice in the winter, and they think, oh, that's really good for my right. immune system, lots of vitamin C. Well, actually, peppers, strawberries, even broccoli has way more vitamin C than oranges. Broccoli? Yeah. See, they call it a superfood for a reason. It's got tons of nutrients in it. All right, so load up on broccoli and peppers, which does not seem like something it would have. I mean, if you cook it, does that cook the vitamins out of it? Yeah, you can reduce your vitamin C content in the peppers, usually by like 20%, depending on how you cook it. Okay. So do a light saute, a light steam, avoid high heat. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. And you were touting this uh, before we came on air here, zinc. You said this stuff can work wonders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the zinc lozenges in particular are really well studied for acute immune support. Right. So when you first get that tickle in your throat, that's when you want to start taking a <laughs> when zinc When you know lozenge. it's coming? You're like, oh no, oh no, something's, <laughs> something's wrong. You know, we've all had that. We're going to bed and we're like, uh-oh. John, I got three kids. I always feel like that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I always feel like I'm getting sick. And then you, you see a lot of juices, a lot of drinks like this. I know you guys sell yeah. these in your stores. And, and they're, they're supposed to be packed with a ton of fruit, ton of vegetables. Are these a good idea? They're a good idea. You do need to watch out for ones that have a lot of sugar in them. Okay. Because if there is a lot of sugar, again, that can help suppress your immune system, not something that you want to have happen. This one has 1,500% of your daily vitamin C in it. Yeah. That's a great way to boost the immune sure. system. Sure. Just check the sugar level to know how much sugar you're yeah. taking in. Because a lot of things that you eat, I know uh, yogurts are a snack that I like to eat, but then I look on the back and it's got 20 grams of sugar in one yeah. little yogurt container. Yeah, absolutely. And if you do eat yogurt, make sure it has probiotics, those right. live microorganisms added in because they actually go in your gut, and then you have 70 to 80 percent of your immune system in your digestive tract, and that's where the probiotics interact with your right. immune system and help boost it. Awesome. Any other pieces of advice? Any other things that we can make sure we're eating a lot of this time of the year? You know, I like to just focus on fermented foods and a variety of foods. So, Got it. you know, things like kefir, things like kombucha that are all going to have all these probiotics that really help train our immune system. They actually make that much of a difference, they huh? They do, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Some great information. I know so many of us trying to keep our kids healthy, trying to keep our, our family healthy. You just try to keep the ugh out of our house, Craig. <laughs> I can only imagine like swabbing a portion of your house with three kids running around. It's got to be like a like a. Are like you a, saying my house is dirty? No, 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 no. But I mean, you got kids. They're like.